Back, you know, for more than three decades now, Oklahoma schools have been teaching students about sexually transmitted diseases like HIV and AIDS. But some say the curriculum needs a refresher. News for Lili Zhang in our newsroom to explain how a state lawmaker is trying to do just that. Yeah, Jolene, Kevin, the idea behind House Bill 1018 has been in the works for years, but now supporters say they believe they found the right balance between education and parents' rights. With no questions or debate, a bill modernizing education on HIV and AIDS in schools sails out of a Senate committee. It would update the state's mandatory curriculum for the first time in 32 years. A lot of folks know that HIV is transmitted through sexual activity, but you know when we're facing kind of the opioid epidemic, maybe needle sharing isn't something that they're familiar with, and so this is letting them know that there are multiple ways. Numbers from the state health department show more than 3,300 Oklahomans living with HIV in 2017, and nearly 2,900 with AIDS. It's an uptick from the year before. The Oklahoma AIDS Care Fund says they want to see these numbers go down. If we're teaching our children about HIV, we should be teaching them a 2019 understanding and not a 1987 understanding. The bill has already passed the House. It was presented by Representative Marcus McIntyre. And did you know that if you have a partnership where one person is positive and the other is negative, the one who's negative can take one pill a day as well and practically immunize themselves from their partner? My kids don't know this. I didn't even know that, and I'm 45. Opponents noted under this bill, schools also have the option to create their own curriculum as long as it meets certain guidelines. Not knowing whether they're going to come up with age-appropriate information is a very big question in my mind and many other people that have contacted me about that. Supporters say parents can opt out if they don't want their children to participate. At the end of the day, this is about ensuring that young people have an understanding of HIV to protect themselves, but also to not be afraid of the virus or people living with HIV. And the bill is now eligible to be heard on the full Senate floor. For now, we're live in the newsroom. Lily Zhang, Oklahoma's News 4.